Hey everybody, I have another pyramid video here for you. And this just might wrap it up as far as the ones that are actually seen today above ground, or ones that I'm not just totally guessing at, that were once pyramids. But So this just might wrap up the pyramid series. But we are going down to southern Saqqara, and this is a pyramid that not much remains today. And the alignment is a little weird, and what was found in here. I think is pretty weird compared to these other places but and researchers have pinned this pyramid or just the very ruins and there is a substructure down here that looks pretty familiar but they have attributed this to Marin Ra of the sixth dynasty and that's just the way I will attempt to pronounce it but I will leave a few links below but let's just do a little reading here and this is going to be brief now here is what it looks like today, just pretty much a pile of rubble, and it is found at South Saqqara. And here is a diagram of this, or what they say this pyramid looked like, a descending shaft, and then a turn and a burial chamber, they say. And this is a vaulted ceiling, and there is three magazines to the south of it. But let's just take a look at what was down here. Now here is a website. I like sharing websites that I have never shared before. And here it gives a good look at what the pyramid looks like today. And I will leave this link below. And I'm not going to read, but it has a few good pics. And here the descending shaft it looks like later stonework was built up around here. This looks a lot, of, a lot like some of these other places that are just covered by time. But here you see some megalithic blocks that were initially blocking the descending passage and this pyramid the corners not the sides but the corners were aligned to the cardinal points and that makes it fairly unique i think there was one other pyramid i talked about that was like that way down south but the corners are actually aligned to the cardinal points but that is the look at this website and i will leave the link below and here is a look at the burial chamber and a very impressive sarcophagus and I think this is made maybe a black granite but that looks extremely well made solid but there is inscriptions in here and I can't really make out totally what this says and there was this found a broken lid and this is made out of I think they call this gray stoke and is that what the sarcophagus at the headless pyramid is made out of I don't know if I really have an answer still to what that sarcophagus lid that extremely uh, precisely made lid in that last video is made out of but Greystoke that is one thing that was found down here and that just appears to be broken but the pyramid text was inscribed it appears the dynastic Egyptians use this just like uh, the pyramid of Unis where we have a huge uh, volume of pyramid text on those walls but it appears to be like half finished also but but what was found in here well let's take a look now I will leave a bunch of links below but there was a mummy found in here it says the mummy discovered by Gaston Maspero in 1881 while looking at the pyramid of Marin Ra the first at Saqqara South presents us presents us with somewhat of a problem with regards to its identification based on the place where it was discovered in the black granite sarcophagus inside the pyramid it has been identified as belonging to Marin Ra the first if this identification is correct this mummy would be the oldest complete royal mummy known to us today an important part of the problem is the fact that the current whereabouts of the mummy are unknown, making it impossible to examine it with more modern tools and equipment that was available in the late 19th and early 20th century. So, I mean, I'm sure mummies go to the antiquity department, and or do they just lose mummies eventually? Because I'm sure we could at least get an age of this mummy, and that just sniffs of being a little suspicious. But here is the mummy that was found. And I'm not a mummy expert, but any 
Anything that was with this mummy was stripped, and they even theorized that the chest was searched for valuables. Does this mummy look older, a lot older than some of the mummies I've seen? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but I'm not a mummy expert. Now, who this was, I think, is a great mystery. They say this is Marin Ra the first, the pharaoh. But there are some problems with that. Now, some of the dynasties, and especially the ones after uh, the Old Kingdom, the Fourth Dynasty, but the Sixth Dynasty, there is really, the history on the pharaohs is really scant. And we just have little bits of information. But current research, that Marin Ra the First wasn't a young person when he died, or I'm not sure of an exact age, but certainly wasn't a child. And this mummy has a side lock of hair that uh, younger people and children wore in Egypt. So who exactly was this? I don't think this was Marin Ra the First, the Pharaoh. Could it have been? Hmm slight possibility but I think we have somebody very young and they say this might be the oldest mummy ever found well we have recently found some pre-dynastic mummies that were mummified just like this so this is a great mystery who is found down here in this black granite sarcophagus did the Egyptians just come in here and carve some stuff on here? Well, I'm going to take a closer look at this if I can and try to make out what this says because I really don't have a good answer what is on the sarcophagus. I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to document this last pyramid. I think I have wrapped up the pyramid series. That is the pyramid of Marin Ra the first at South Saqqara. It has a similar diagram. The pyramid texts were inscribed. There was a mummy found. Just thought I'd give you a look. That just might do it for the pyramid series, and I hope you've enjoyed it. You've gotten a look at every single pyramid, their design, and my thoughts. And you all have a very nice day.